Hello and welcome back. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. We're excited to welcome Teradata back to theCUBE and today with us at the AWS ReMars conference coverage. It's great to hear with Hillary Ashton, Chief Product Officer of Teradata. Great to have you on. Thanks for coming on. John, thanks so much for having me. I'm super excited to be joining you today. So ReMars, what a great event. It brings together the confluence of machine learning, which is data, automation, robotics, and space, which is, to me is a whole new genre of conversations around technology and business value. It's going to be a big kind of area. And it's just, again, just getting started. Inning one, as they say, um, I'm super excited. Tell us about what you guys are doing there and yourself. About two and a half years ago, I head up the products organization. That means I have responsibility for our roadmap and our, and our strategy overall on the product side. Prior to coming to Teradata, gosh, I have spent the last 20 years, if I can say that, um, in the data and the analytics space. I grew up in um, the marketing application space. Spent 11 years at SAS, really cut my teeth on hardcore AI, ML, and analytics at SAS. And most recently was at PTC, where I was in charge of, I was the general manager of augmented reality, the business unit at PTC focused on IoT data and how IoT data and augmented reality can really bring machines to life. It's interesting, you talked about SAS and kind of your background. You know, everything's SASified with the cloud now. So you think about platform as a service, SAS models emerging, Software is an open source game now, so it's an integration cloud scale data conversation we're seeing. What's your reaction to that? What's your reaction to that kind of idea that, okay, everything's open to source, software value integrating in with data. What's your reaction to that? Yeah, I mean, I think open source absolutely has some awesome things going on there. I think there's great opportunities for commercial, reliable, governed software and open source um, capabilities to come together in an open ecosystem that allow our customers to choose the best way to deliver the analytic outcomes that they're focused on. So you guys have been in the news lately around connecting multi-cloud data analytics platforms uh, and transforming businesses around there. Obviously the background has been with Teradata as well documented. What's this news about? What's really going on there? You got Vantage uh, platform. What is this, what's happening? What's, take us through that story. What's the, what's the key point? Yeah, I mean, we've worked super hard to deliver a true multi-cloud hybrid data platform. So if you think, you know, customers, uh, many of our enterprise customers uh, started with um, on-premises uh, data systems and are moving violently to the cloud, right? So they're super excited about moving to the cloud. Um, but being able to deploy on multiple clouds, I think is important. And then importantly, sort of this hybrid notion of being able to leverage data that's on premises and combine it with uh, data in the cloud on AWS, for example. And so being able to do those hybrid use cases, you may have data that's like older and, and kind of archaic needs to stay on premises. There's not a lot of value in moving it to the cloud, but you want to combine it with some of the innovative analytic capabilities that perhaps you're doing on AWS. And so Teradata allows you to live in that hybrid multi-cloud environment and deliver analytic outcomes wherever your data is. You know, Hillary, one of the top conversations is data cloud. You got to have a data cloud. I want to do this, move this around. But there's a lot of now integration opportunities to bring data from different sources together, whether you're in healthcare, all the verticals have the same use case. Multiple access to different databases, bringing them all together, ETL, all that old school stuff is coming back in and being kind of refactored, okay? With machine learning, with cloud scale, with platforms like AWS, there's now this new commitment to bringing this to the next level for enterprises. And you mentioned some of those partnerships. What specifically is going on in the cloud that's notable, that's, that's realistically that, they're, that, that customers are executing on now? Not the hype, the reality. The reality, yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, I think today with Teradata, our customers are leveraging something that we call a query fabric. And so this is the idea, as you said, John, that data might be in a lot of different places and you want to be able to get value out of that data without the difficulty of moving it around unnecessarily. Sometimes you want to move it around, but unnecessary data movement is both expensive and an inefficient use of precious time. And so I think that there's an opportunity for this query fabric to be able to do remote push down queries uh, wherever that data is and return back the results that you are looking for, analytic results, AI and ML results, combining di different data that's in different locations to deliver that analytic outcome quickly without having to move the data around. So I would say query fabric is one of the areas that we are super invested in and today is delivering real value for our customers. It's really interesting, data being addressable and available, low latency, I mean, we're talking about space, automation, robotics, real time, 
So you have different data types stored in different data vehicles or mechanisms that need to be real time and available because machine learning only works as good as the data they has available to it. So again, this is a key kind of new way that folks are re-architecting. And again, we're here at, at Remars, right? I mean, to mm -hmm. machine learning, automation, robotics and space, kind of, kind of the real world, physical, digital, trust, scale, huge concepts here. What's the partnership? How's it all, how's it working with AWS? Take us through that strong partnership that you guys are developing. Yeah, I mean, we have a fantastic relationship with AWS. We're really excited that we signed a strategic collaboration agreement at the end of last year. That really puts us in an elite category of AWS partners. We're really committed to co-investing and co-engineering with Amazon and our product development organization, and also in go-to-market and marketing and other parts of our business. As the chief product officer, I'm really excited about sort of three key areas. First is we've optimized Teradata Vantage to run in the AWS cloud at great scale with unparalleled um, scale at, at the highest level for our customers. And so um, we've partnered with them to be able to handle some of the complex analytic workloads. And we think of um, analytic models are, are part of one part of a workload. There may be other ELT that you talked about, right? Workloads that you may need to run. All of that running at tremendous scale with AWS in the cloud. The second area is deep integration. So Teradata used to think that we were the ecosystem, right? We built everything, soup to nuts, end to end. Today, we live in a really exciting data and analytics space and we partner closely with CSPs like AWS where we are deeply integrated. We have dozens of AWS native integrations in our AWS offer today. And that lets customers take advantage of AWS S3 for um, Cloud Lake, for example, Amazon Kinesis for data ingestion and streaming yeah. and on and on. So we're really focused on the integration area there. And then finally, We've developed, co-developed with AWS, a fast and low risk migration approach to move from on-premises to the cloud for our enterprise customers. You know, what's interesting is as we kind of weave together, I hear you talking about those three areas. Uh, I mentioned earlier at the top of the interview how integration is now the competitive advantage. Software is almost going commodity with open source. You can mention that, all good, right? All good stuff. But when you think about kind of the big trends in this new computing world, it's hybrid cloud, it's edge and IOT, okay? Mm -hmm. Again, cloud scale and these new connected points, trust, uh, access, all these things have to be integrated. So integration, you guys have been in the middle of territory, has been around for a long time, leader in data warehousing, but now with cloud and then the data types, this is a game changer. I mean, this is notable. Can you share more about how you see this evolving with customers because at the end of the day, the integration becomes super critical. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm super passionate about the opportunities of IOT streaming data. And that's one of the key areas of partnership with, with Amazon is taking that streaming data, leveraging um, the analytic uh, opportunities with Amazon. We'll talk about that in just a second, but I think some of the examples that I could share with you, some everyone loves to hear, I love to hear about what actual customers are doing. So Brinker International, they're one of the world's largest casual dining restaurants. If you've ever been to a Chili's Grill or Maggiano's Little Italy, those are the guys, Brinker International owns those brands. So we leveraged um, Amazon SageMaker and Teradata Vantage together to apply advanced analytic and predictive modeling to be able to understand things like demand, right? And you're in the middle of COVID and trying to understand how many people should you have on staff today? You know, what, what is the demand going to look like? What should sales look like? What's foot traffic look like? So that demand forecasting capability um, across their 1600 different um, storefronts or restaurant fronts is one of the examples that I could share with you. The other one is Hertz, right? So one of the world's largest vehicle rental companies, um, they are using Vantage and AWS together to track and analyze uh, transaction data across all of its global locations and manage, again, that complex um, inventory, right? And some of that is streaming data. Some of that is, is um, data that we're getting from the cars themselves and then create a new value added program to their loyalty members, which is sort of the name of the game, right? Is customer acquisition and extension of brand um, across those customers. So those are two examples I can share with you. There's many, many others, but I know you probably have some other questions. Yeah, well, I want to come back to the SageMaker thing because that's an important uh, partnership there because it's been one of the fastest growing services. It's always at the top or in the top two or three whenever I talk to Andy Jassy and the team over there. Uh, but I want to talk about scalability and I want to ask you if you can scope for me 
the scalability of what's going on with this data challenging? Because where are we on that scale? Can you can you share how, how, how you would scope the scale? Absolutely, and I love talking about scale because it is a home run for our Teradata. I think many customers start looking at the cloud and they start with kind of little tiny baby footprints, but we are an enterprise solution, an enterprise platform, right? And so I think that we're looking at tens of thousands of users and thousands of business critical applications. That's what our customers are doing and have done for decades with Teradata and bringing all of that scale to the cloud. And with AWS in particular, we recently um, did a thousand node testing. It was, it was. I'm going to walk through this a little bit slowly, which is hard for me as you can tell, but it was a single system of more than a thousand nodes, which is just to give you a sense, that's double our largest on-premises system. So it's huge. It was the single largest. Double your largest customer deployment? Double our largest customer deployment on-premises. Yeah, that's right. So it was a thousand nodes with more than a thousand different users submitting thousands of concurrent queries. So huge enterprise scale. Yeah. And this was a real world use case. This, this we took not a traditional benchmark, but a real world customer set of mixed workloads. So lots of long running strategic queries and lots of fast running queries that needed really tight SLAs, all of that running simultaneously. We saw no system downtimes. We were to roll out, we were able to roll out and roll back new capabilities seamlessly in a true software as a service fashion. So that was an awesome test, all run on AWS. And, and I think that their team was just as excited as we were about it. Well, I love the scale, love that test you guys ran. Obviously you're sponsoring Remars, which is great. Congratulations. We love covering since the beginning, we believe of uh, kind of a whole new genre of programming can brings together the confluence of some exciting technologies that just a decade ago weren't always working together. <laughs> they were bespoke, That's right. right? So yeah. now it's all integrated in at cloud scale. You got the test, got thousands of concurrent queries. Um, what else are you showcasing? You mentioned the SageMaker because that's really where uh, Amazon's connecting in all these tools. How are you integrating that's in right. and how, and it sounds like you're bringing all that Amazon goodness in with Teradata and vice versa. Uh, absolutely, we're delivering sort of the best in class to our customers jointly. So here at Remars today, we're really excited to be talking about um, SageMaker and our relationship with AWS to be able to deliver that seamless integration between our solutions for machine learning services and Teradata Vantage. So I'm sure it won't come as any surprise to you as we just talked about, but we're finding that massive investments in AI and ML and other advanced analytic capabilities are out there and many organizations are really only experimenting. They're just starting to explore some of these opportunities. We think that there's tremendous value in the scale that we just talked about that we can offer combined with best in class AI and ML capabilities like SageMaker. And so we are excited to talk about it. If you want to see it, we've got some, we've got a booth set up. You can come and take a look at what we're doing there. But I think there's huge opportunities for customers to get to the analytic value with um, Teradata Vantage and AWS SageMaker. Yeah, it's great to see Teradata kind of seeing that headroom opportunity to ex extend the value proposition to kind of new territory in in the opera with your customers. It's, I can definitely see it, love the, the connection here. Uh, where can they learn more about the Teradata partnership with AWS and Amazon? Um, is, is there a site, is there a pr program coming? Is there any more content that you, they can be expecting to see? Take a little plug, time to plug the company. Uh, if you insist, I will, John, thank you. I think, um, you know, if you're at the event right now, you can swing by Teradata's booth. We're at booth 111. You can get a demo of our SageMaker integration and learn more about both our enterprise scale and the advanced outcomes that we're able to provide um, to our customers. If you're not at Remars, and we really think you should be, we would encourage you to sign up for, when it, for one of our um, upcoming SageMaker webinars that we're doing with AWS this year. And if, you, if you'd like to, you can also just email us at aws at teradata.com. Again, that's aws at teradata.com and we'll set up a private demo for you. Well, Hillary, Ashley, great to have you on. Chief Product Officer at Teradata. Um, you must be feeling good. You got a lot to work with. You got to install base. You have new territory to take down as the, as the Chief Product Officer. You got the keys to the kingdom. We're, what, give us a quick uh, uh, bumper sticker of where you guys are going with the product. Uh, we are fast and furious. My team will tell you, we are so excited to be here with AWS and Teradata is on an epic trajectory forward in, in our cloud first approach. So 
We are so excited about our roadmap. If you'd like to learn more, please swing by teradata.com. A lot of innovation happening. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. Okay, this is the Cube coverage of Amazon ReMars, machine learning, automation, robotics, and space. It cuts the confluence of digital, virtual data, and real worlds. And you, in space, you can't get any more than this. That's a big edge out there in space. Talk about edge computing in space. Of course, the Cube's here covering it. I'm Sean Furrier, your host. Stay with us for more coverage here at Amazon. Thank you.